Hello, I'm Greg Bjornstad with Bjornstad Cellars, and we're in the vineyard today working on uh, a pruning of one of the vineyards that I work with uh, for my Bjornstad Cellars Pinot Noir. So uh, I would like to show you uh, what I consider to be the most important practice in the vineyard uh, through for the entire year. The choices that we make today are uh, choices that will uh, affect our management decisions throughout the year and ultimately affect the quality of the grapes that, uh, that we grow and harvest and consequently then the, uh, the wine that comes from them. All right. So here we are in the Holloway Vineyard and uh, planted to uh, 3309 rootstock and Dijon Clone 115. So uh, a little bit about the Dijon Clone 115 uh, comes from the Dijon area obviously in France and is a very well regarded clone in that part of the world. Uh, the French are looking for early maturity and great concentration of flavors, uh, usually in the red fruit area, uh, side of flavors like red raspberry, cherry, and um, and the, the Dijon clone 115 has a good tannin structure also, so, uh, so we get a, uh, a, a complete wine. Uh, this is a new vineyard for me that I'm uh, working with, and um, so there are some, some changes that I'm doing, uh, kind of a one-time deal to, get the, to bring this vineyard up to what we're trying to do. That one, makes, uh, grows great grapes for making great wine, and number two, um, makes it easy for us to do that. So here I'm going to start pruning this vine to the uh, the Bjornstad style, style of, uh, of uh, vineyard management that I was just talking about. So I'm going to start with the large cuts first. So I'll take this arm here, cut that off, and then uh, cut smaller pieces so that it's a little easier to remove and you can see a little bit more of where I'm headed. So get this uh, trellis opened up. The next big cut will be on this side. So this one is already uh, growing here on the head that I'm, I'm keeping. Uh, but again, I'm just going for two canes and no spurs coming originating from one head. Okay, so we're, uh, we're left with two canes, and you can see what, uh, how much that, that pruning has opened up the head. So where we had uh, shoots overlapping and clusters potentially overlapping, now we just have one single panel of shoots that are growing, one layer deep of grapes so that they can have the right kind of exposure to the light that we need. Pinot Noir is very sensitive to the kind and quality amount of sun, of sunlight that, uh, that, that penetrates. Too much, we can burn and we can lose the crop. Not enough and it stays green and doesn't really color up, which also translates into the flavor of the, of the fruit.